Good morning, everybody. Uh, you may see this later. Uh, here we are. I'm sitting here in my kitchen looking around and thinking about this next health challenge, this part two, thinking about what my goals are, thinking about what I can do to, to eat better, to live better, so that I can have more energy, more focus. Um, I can spend more time during the day uh, getting things done and less time uh, trying to catch a midday nap because uh, my glucose or because I'm eating the wrong foods. So I'm praying that for myself through this challenge um, that I would be able to do better, uh, live better, have more time to get things done and also to increase my mood um, because food also affects your mood. So I don't know what your goals are. I don't know what your, I don't know what your prayer is, but I, I will tell you this, as you go through this challenge, I will want to encourage you to pray your way through, pray your way through, ask the Lord to, uh, before every meal, ask him, or before you plan your meals, ask him to help you, um, in this situation, because these sugar cravings, are terrible. It's the worst. It's worse than any drug addiction on the earth. Uh, we will make every compromise and every justification to eat what we want when we want it. Doesn't matter how good or how bad it is. So, um, if you look at it that way, if you look at it like it's an addiction, like it's the worst thing in the world, then maybe you'll have a better mental grasp on how to on how to handle. Uh, there's no processed sugar thing because processed sugar isn't everything and you can't completely eliminate it unless you live some kind of a sheltered life uh, but what you can do is to really reduce it and if you, of course if you live at home you can eliminate it but if you travel or do other things like that it's extremely hard because sugar pro they refine and process sugar in everything it's an absolute demon it's evil on every hand and you need to look at it. You need to look at it like it is and it will help you as it has already helped me to do better and eat better. So God bless you. Feel free to put your comments below as we begin to start this thing tomorrow, October the 15th. We're going to go to November the 15th and hopefully it'll help all of us to explore ways that we can do better in cooking and eating, even, even uh, as we approach Thanksgiving. Um, how can we cook better? How can we eat better? How can we put meals on the table, even at Thanksgiving, that will help to reduce the sugar intake of not just you, but those who are, who are eating? Because sugar intake is so bad that when we taste anything that does not taste uh, uh, like sugar or as sugary as we used to have it, our body will go into total rejection and will tell our mind, that you cannot eat this because this is not good or this is not sugary enough. Um, so it's a total mindset change, but it's also a body change um, as well. Um, you got to get your body used to eating foods that don't have that processed sugar in it. So God bless all of you all. Of course, I'll be updating, post your meals and all those things that we did on the first challenge. Let's have a good time doing this. Be encouraged, everybody.